What's up, mother suckers? It has been such a long time since I've been out fishing. It's been about, what, almost a month, two months? Two months, probably. Two months. And today, I got a treat for you guys. We are going out on a half day on the Daily Double. The boat's right behind me. I'm here with my boy Aaron. He invited me last minute. And, you know, I've been having an itch to fish, but at the same time, I've been dealing with work, the whole COVID crisis, and all that stuff in family. And it's just been very stressful for everyone. I'm, I'm pretty damn sure you guys are pretty stressed out too. But not having work or going back to work, you know, trying to, trying to find a new normal but yeah we're out here half day we're gonna go out to i don't know what the nine kelp beds somewhere we're gonna be looking for barracuda maybe some bonito some yellowtail and definitely a whole lot of calicos and i'm definitely gonna be taking home some calico so for all you calico lovers out there i'm sorry but mama's gotta eat i gotta eat it's been a while since i got some fresh fish i haven't been fishing for mackerel or anything like that so we're gonna give it a shot and get out here in beautiful San Diego. So the Daily Double is a half day boat here in San Diego out of Point Loma, is it Point Loma Sport Fishing? It's out here in Point Loma Sport Fishing. It's a half day, it leaves at 8.30 a.m. This is my first time ever on this boat, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Maybe, maybe they're pretty good, maybe they're pretty bad, I don't know. So if you guys ever been on this boat before, comment below, let me know what your thoughts are, you know, with the Daily Double and whatnot. I'm usually on the Dolphin, you guys know that, sometimes the C4 and sometimes private boats. First time for everything, but what a comeback for me. <laughs> first day. Well, first trip, yeah, first trip in about two months. And first offshore trip in about almost a year. I think no, the last. you didn't go last year, did you? I went with uh, um, Extreme Philly Fishing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the last time I've been out on a charter boat was with EPF. If you guys know who he is, it's Leo Shane, the micro fish master. So <laughs> that's the last time I've been out. We're going to give it a shot. Hopefully catch something like I always mentioned. Big or small, we're going to try to catch them all. I'm going to be throwing some new stuff. There's gonna be some new rods in this video that I'll be testing out, some new baits I'll be testing out. So you guys stay tuned for that. I know you guys like seeing the new juice, all right? And I'm gonna try to catch something. So you guys stay tuned in. Let's get this morning started, let's go. Our troubles. Oh, we're gonna lose this bait first cast. Yeah. Just gotta work it fast. Get bit? Kelp. I just got smacked too. Oh, there we go. Yeah, first calico. Two bass in the circle already. Oh no, I'm <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, right when he hit it, yeah. I let it free spool a little bit more than he just took it. Not bad. Got him on the 28 gram major crab hamao.
cast away right where he dropped the bait. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even feel it? <laughs> there you go. First calico for uh, Aaron. You thought it was kelp? Yeah. There we go. Right at the drop. They're right at the edge of that kelp bed. Little guy. Yeah. Gotta lip it. Then it'll count once you lip it. There you go. Yeah, to do it this stack. There you got him. <laughs> right at the drop. Me in. Hey, 
you feel like a good one though? Got him out. They took a shit. Oh, ah, oh, he let go. Shine is getting lit right there. <laughs> Right in the 
Take help, dude. Yeah, I think it's like. Oh, that's. that's uh, nah. Sure? I don't think so. Are you sure? I'm pretty positive that's not legal. Another little guy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Woo, all right, guys. That was fun. Yeah, that Thanks, was fun. That Aaron, was fun. for the invite. First time ever on the Daily Double. And let me tell you guys, was it worth it? You damn right it was. I mean, me being out here for the first time in about almost two months, a month and a half, two months. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I, I kind of lost faith in fishing or doing anything productive like that in a while. This is the first time I actually picked up the camera since my last last video i mean all my recent videos have been dated so you guys pay attention to that all right it tells you guys when it was recorded when it was edited all that stuff and like i said it's been like well over a month and a half two months since i fish and it was damn well worth it and it, it reminded me that like being out here is what we all need especially your fishermen you need this you need the uh relaxation the serenity the temple everything you guys need it but enough of that i mean i had a blast we caught well over 30 calico bass between me and aaron and we both kept two legos each aaron got way bigger legos than i did i mean i kept two for my mom she's been asking and you guys know me i rarely ever keep calico bass rarely even sand bass i don't even keep spotties i don't even keep the only fish you guys actually see me keep is what uh corvina halibut and macro sometimes smelt or whatever that doesn't you know hit a nerve on artery on on some of the viewers out there i understand spotted bay bass calico bass sand bass and some other species are very sensitive very very sensitive in uh in the world of fishing but you know sometimes taking one or two doesn't really hurt it doesn't i mean don't you agree i agree yeah i mean it's not like i go out every freaking day and take home five or ten calico basses no i don't do that i don't got time for that but um, the Daily Double, remember now, the Daily Double is my first time ever on that boat. One of my subscribers, Fowler, if you're watching this, shout out to you. Uh, he actually works on that boat and he's been pushing me to go on that boat for the past two, three years. And finally, finally, I went on that boat. Daily Double, was it worth it? Yes. The boat had great customer service. The captain was cool as hell. He kept looking for fish for us. And you know what? There's spots out there that holds hundreds and hundreds of fish. I understand that today wasn't the day, but we caught fish. Everyone on the boat, I believe, caught fish. I'm not sure I didn't really keep a head count. But due to this COVID, coronavirus, all that stuff, the boat load is limited, guys. I mean, the boat holds, I believe, 50 to 70 passengers. But every day right now, they're only doing 25, uh, yeah, 25 boat load of anglers alone not including the the workers the deck hands the chef the captain um how was conditions the conditions were okay they were biting not big ones but big or small we're gonna try to catch them all y'all know the drill 
what else did I get them on? You guys see it in the video. I mean, I got a shit ton on the Hama O. That was the main thing. I have never thrown that bait before. It's been sitting in my bag, and this video pretty much kind of revolves around that the Major Craft Hama O. It's usually geared towards flounder, aka halibut, flatfish, one side face fish, two face fish. I don't know what you guys call on your end, but that's what that bait was designed for the Major Craft Hama O. And sure enough, calicos were all over that literally almost every other cast i was getting bit and again everything i use in this video will be in the description below so everything i use major craft homos jig heads jig power spins everything will be in the description below be sure to check that out you guys keep asking me i'm just gonna wrap it up right there guys it was a nice half day will i go on a daily double again hell yeah i would when's the next time i'm gonna go i don't know but we're gonna try to get the whole squad out you know it's been a while since we all got together so I'm going to try to get Ken out, Tom out, James out. Again, obviously, me and Aaron, we're going to go. So all five of us are due for a trip together. It's been a while. So I'm going to wrap it all up right there, guys. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for the support. And much love to all you guys that have been there since the beginning, mid, quarter away. I don't know. But I want to say thank you to all of you guys. So I'm going to wrap it up right there, guys. Again, everything I use, check down below. And um. Yeah, what anything else to say besides that it was a great day? I mean, no, no it was good, right? Again, thank you, Aaron, for the invite. And as always, guys, good fishing and peace the hell 